What's going on guys, Danny here and today I'm going to be showing you some really cool things um, that I've actually done. So basically what I'm going to show you is how to have like your own icons and I've actually made this. Um, so if I can drag this out, yeah it, it kind of is a bit pixelated but I think you can have different sizes but uh, I've decided to go for with this size for some reason. But anyway, uh, I'm actually going to show you how you can do this because you can't just go with a PNG image and just like change it. You, you just can't do that. Um, it takes a little bit of processing to do that. But I'm going to basically show you how you can end up with this. So yeah, um, basically if you go into Photoshop, so I'm just um, just going to change the letter on this. You can put whatever you want on the actual icon. Um, I've decided to make it like this design. But um, what I've done on this is I've put it to a width of 260 and a height of 260 and use these settings. It doesn't really matter what you pick. But uh, yeah, so you can basically put whatever you want on your design. Um, I decided to go with this sort of style. Um, it looks kind of unique, really. And uh, I'm basically going to show you how you do it. So I'm just going to change this to a B just for the tutorial's sake. Um and I just will align it a little bit because it does look a little bit off so yeah you can basically put whatever you want on this and uh, it should work um, and I think you can put it at any size you want anyway so yeah if you export it as a PNG which I cannot find where are you go there and uh, I'm just going to rename it to basically the same as I put for that um, it would be good to put these in a folder if you're doing like a lot of them or you're putting them into a pack um, these can be good as like putting into a GFX pack for like I don't know a big amount of subs or something but uh, yeah um, what you need to do is actually go onto the internet onto this website and uh, I'll put the link in the description all you need to do is go to where it says browse and then you need to find your image and it has to be a PNG remember about that guys and here it is PNG and then you just click open just press convert and then just wait for this for a sec it will just say converting and then you have one of four options that you can pick from you can either just download it as the PNG again which is kind of pointless um, you can have it in different sizes. It's kind of pointless that way as well. But what we're going to use today is um, download icon for Windows. You can also use it for Mac and whatever that one is. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, if you go into your downloads, it will be there. And what are yours? You're here. And I'm just going to drag this onto the desktop for whatever. Um, just going to make a quick new folder. Don't know why it's taking so long. Let's change that. And if we go to properties on here, and then you go to customize, then you go to change icon, then you've got to find where the icon is. You can't use the PNG, it would be a lot faster, but that's just not going to happen. And uh, yeah, you can do that. Just press OK, apply, OK. And you have your folder, and uh, it's got its little icon on it. I think you can use a bigger pixel ratio, because uh, that still looks kind of blurry. Um, I might just change that up in a sec. But yeah, hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys. Um, I might do like some downloads that you could have yourself, um, of some little templates that you can put. You can put basically whatever you want on there. You could even put like your own Photoshop logo if you wanted in I've just got these alphabetical and um, if I use them for a certain folder like I do here because um, I usually become organized after a while after this gets full over here but uh, yeah so that's basically it if you want any more tutorials from me then leave a comment in the comment section and uh, also if this tutorial helped you and you got quite far with this I guess uh, then leave a like 